what is a cadastry? So, when we are talking about a village map, we talk about it is a cadastral mapping. What is a cadastry? Cadastry is a parcel and which is consist of update land information and it describes the geometry of the parcel and it is linked to records interest, ownership and value of the parcel. This is what the FIG has given up. So, cadastral surveys document the boundaries of the land ownership when you want to do the surveys, production of documents, diagrams, sketches, plans and charts and maps. They were all used for land valuation and taxation purposes in the past. Now, in the past when we were in a different mode of others activity, the, what has happened was developed to collect only taxes. Now also people are doing the same thing, nothing different. So that means the government wants only for the physical purpose. Identify a plot or identify a cadastry or a parcel on a cadastry, collect tax depending upon the usages. And also for a person who is buying it or using it, for him it is a legal purpose. That means I own the land, this is my document. So nobody else can do that, no duplication is allowed. And for a development, what we look at it, we look at it for a physical purpose. I want to buy a land and on my name and I want to construct a houses. So, this is the use which people are using. So, now how, what is the cadastral map consist of? Property parcels which I have tried to show you, every parcel has got a unique parcel ID numbers like you have, it may be the annotations followed may be different from one place to another place, even though we are trying to bring out a uniform method of coding this. Then you have the register of interest, that means responsibilities, restrictions and rights of the particular owner over that land and also so that means if I own a land. I have to own it and I have to use it according to what I am supposed to use it. I should not use it for illegal activities. So, that is the things. Then what a computer nowadays currency information on a computer system, what it does whatever we have seen in the GIS mode is nothing but it is a maps and it attributes it is all linked. So, that queries can be there from the table attribute table as well as from the spatial information, we will be able to get what we want to do that. So, they have cadastral identify, identifying uh, identifier and it links locations. The locations now what we are trying to do is, is on a georeferencing is done. That means, east and the north links or latitude longitudes are being added to that. Then for a purpose of boundary rule that is between one administrative boundary to another administrative boundary as well as for the land use purposes. So, now another important thing is land as a city planner everybody knows this is there are allocation of lands for a different purposes like schools, hospitals, open areas, playgrounds and some amount of green areas. So, this will be useful for a spatial development plan so that the city does not get congested. Now, distinct attributes of a real estate that will tell you about what is the value. That value is depending upon where you are located, where what is the adjoining activities in this area. What are the basic mapping requirements which we were looking for? We were looking for now I, as I was telling about is oh, there are cadastral maps wherein at a odd scales 1 is 2, 8, 3, 3, 3 or different people have used a different time. Now, it, if it is there in multiples of thousands 1 is to 1000 or 1 is to 5000 or 1 is to 10,000 10, scale, it will be easier for merging with other data sets for a 
regional approach or a area approach. And projection of the thing which now people felt it should be Everest spheroid tree. Now we were using it feet, miles and that type of inches. Now we have come down to everything is meet, millimeter, centimeter, kilometer, meter of that kind of category. So if it is there in one unit, it will be easier for a merging purpose. Then contents, contents depending upon the region, depending upon the requirements, the contents they varied from one to another as well as a symbol as well as colorations. So if it is standardized the map contents for a cadastral map, it is coming up. So it will be having a anybody from one part of the country he can understand what is going on in the other side. So if there is a variation his understanding is little weak. So now what are the cadastral map content is property parcel, control monuments. See here geodetic control monuments which we were talking about is control monuments are nothing but in the previous years they used to have some pool, they used to have some sort of a uh, boundary stones with a markings over there. They are there on all the four sides or six sides depending upon the type of parcels. They used to keep it up as a physical evidence for, to differentiate between one parcel to another parcel. So that is what the control monuments means. Then when we buy a house, so do I give, give, it, give some way to the roads if the road if it comes, which side I should do that. So for that, that is mentioned in the spatial information. Then building, building footprints, what are that building foot, footprints, building size, building open areas around the buildings that can be given and it should be included in one of the administrative boundaries. We have a ad village administration, we have a tassel administration, we have panchayat administration, it should fall in one of them totally. It should not be partly here, partly over there. There may be some few examples it could be, but that is very rare in that type of category and the people are trying to negotiate and then settle it down. Now what are the textual information? That means the language it is written as name of the property identifier, how do we identify, address, address streets and that thing like that surveyor who has done it, then datum coordinates and other activities. This is what you expect from the cadastral map. So many of the cadastral maps are prepared from the ground survey. Now aerial <coughs> photogrammetry and remote sensing as well as ground survey techniques are being used. You photogrammetrically you prepare a map. then verify it on the ground with ground surveys, then you go back to the finalize the map. Now the geo ground surveys they are being used for more than 30 years or so, whereas the photogrammetric survey has come started coming up of late, but acceptance is with the resistance it is being accepted. Now what is needed is when you do a land registration. So this cards for a conveyance, conveyance is ma means then I am trying to give it to you, I am selling it to you and I am transferring my land rights towards you, that is what the conveyance means. Now GIS of cadastral maps are being done at a faster speed, almost we are likely to close down that is conversion of the old cadastral maps into the GIS map cadastral maps. Then. The control points are the points where already the latitude longitude of those points already surveyed, tested and then they are used for the traverse computations.